All right, let's go ask random people what they need. Hello, sir. Welcome to Kevin Guys. Okay, I have a question for you. Yes, sir. What's one product you need to wash your car? One, only one product. Vacuum. Okay, he said vacuum. Yeah. A question for you, Phil. What's one product you need to wash your car? One product. You need a bucket. All right, a bucket. Cool. Nikki. What's one product you need to wash a car? So, okay. So he says so. All right. What is one product you need to wash a car? One product, uh, car soap. Name a product you need to wash a car. Only one though. What do you need? Wash soap. Soap. Mr. Pink soap. One product? It could be a product, accessory, whatever. Um, mitts. Yo, 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 relax. Right. <laughs> Name what product you need to use to wash your car. Only one. Uh, a wash rim. All right. Uh, dirt trap. Uh, I personally like microfibers. All right, microfibers. Hey, what's up, guys? And welcome back to another episode of Chemical Guys Detail Garage. Today, we'll be going over the top five essentials you should be using during your wash process and drying process to prevent scratches and swirls as well as water spots on your wash. Anyways guys, let's get right into it. Now, we're gonna be going over the top five essentials you should be using on your car to prevent scratches and swirls and prevent water spots. So we're gonna get, off, we're gonna get started with number one. Number one is going to be, you're gonna be needing a bucket. As simple as it sounds, you need to be using a bucket to prevent water from spilling and you keep everything in one single place. Now we do recommend using two buckets, but in this occasion, if you're going with a basic wash, you could use one bucket to wash your ride. So this bucket is a four and a half gallon bucket that's going to hold all your water as well as your dirt trap, which is going to be our next topic. But in this occasion, as you guys can see, here at Chemical Guys, we did make our translucent bucket. Now this translucent bucket is going to allow you to see dirty water, so you know exactly when you need to filter it out or switch it out. So this is our bucket. Step number two is going to be the dirt trap. So Christian was on point about a dirt trap and it's all in the name. What is a dirt trap? A dirt trap is going to filter while you wash and it's going to be trapping dirt. Now this is a dirt trap. We do offer it in different types of colors, such as blue, red, green, and black. The choice is yours. Whatever color you desire to use, go ahead and use it. They're all going to do the same exact thing. So now this dirt trap up front has micro abrasives that's going to allow you to scrub a wash mitt a microfiber towel on top and at the bottom it has cyclonic cones that's going to suck up all the dirt grime and filth away from the microfiber goods and it's going to sit at the bottom of your wash bucket so like this you stay you have filter water while you wash your ride so how do you actually use it let me just fill this up real quick and i'll show you guys how to insert it Okay, Camel Grace family, so I already went ahead and filled up the water inside this bucket. And as you guys can see, the water level went up to right here. You could add more if you desire, but I find it filling up to the first line. There's more than enough water you need to wash your car. Now, let me just remind you, this is the basic five essentials you need to wash your cars. Obviously, if you might ask a detailer, a professional, a weekend warrior, they might give you a whole different type of answer. How about you guys comment down below right now and let me know what is one item that is a must have during your wash. Is it a soap? Is it a foam cannon? A towel? There's many different types of items that we offer. Let me know in the comment section down below right now. I want to know exactly what you guys recommend. Let us know, Get start interacting with one another. Let's see what we get more. Is it soaps? Is it microfiber? Foam cannons, pressure washers? The list could go on, but let us know. All right, so this bucket is now filled up with water and I was going to show you guys how to enter this dirt trap. Now it's fairly simple and we always say enter that angle. The reason being is if you do not enter that angle, it might be floating back up while you wash. And we always get this question on our social media, does it work on all types of buckets? And the answer is as long as your bucket has a 12 inch diameter at the bottom, it's going to work. You could also stack multiple dirt traps to filter more while you wash. But in this occasion, we only need one dirt trap. So when you walk over to your wash bucket, you'll put it at an angle, not like this. Do not do this because whenever you start washing, it's going to be rising back up. At an angle, then push down, and that creates a seal 
so your dirt trap can sit at the bottom of your bucket and it won't be rising back up while you wash. So that's one is bucket, two is dirt trap. Next up is going to be a soap. So everybody said we need a soap. Now this goes on what type of soap? Do you need a pH balance soap? Do you need a ceramic soap? Do you need a wash and wax soap? Do you need just a basic clean slate soap? I recommend Sticky Snowball. Now Sticky Snowball is a super high concentrated soap that's going to lather up inside your bucket, foam cannon, foam blaster. It's going to produce so much suds that's going to stick onto the filth and grime that's sitting on the surface of your car. Whether it's blue, black, green, yellow, whatever color car, this soap works phenomenal on that surface of the car. It also works on grills. It also works on wheels. It also works on plastic. It works on windshield. So like this, you wash with peace in mind, knowing that every single part on the surface of your car is going to be not harmed. It's going to have a great finish. It's also going to make it look like a just wax finish. This shine and suds in this side, this, inside the soap is unbelievable. It's actually one of my favorites. So Sticky Snowball is a great soap to be using while you wash. Next up is going to be, how do I scrub my surface of the car? I'm pretty sure you guys have known this. Everybody back in the day, you said, oh, just use your towel, use a t-shirt, use a sock to scrub the surface of the car. Why do I say that? Because I used to do that. So I learned using something that's going to be soft, something plush is going to be the best. Now this microfiber washman has microfiber strands that are actually going to act like little hands. It's going to help you pull off any dirt, filth, or grime away from the surface vehicle. And it's super soft and super plush. Keep this in mind. The paint on this car now are, is water-based and what ends up happening is whenever it's water-based, it's going to help you prevent scratch and swirls whenever using a chenille wash mitt. So I recommend using a chenille wash mitt. It's super soft, super plush, and it's more than just a wash mitt. You could also use it on the interior of your car. You could use it on ceiling fans. You could use it just to dust off certain areas and like this, you achieve a dust-free zone and a scratch-free finish. So it's a multi-use wash mitt. Use it around your interior car, ceiling fans, extra your car inside your wash bucket, the list goes on. And last but not least, a drying towel. A lot of people out there on the market go ahead and use a microfiber towel or they also use a bath towel. And using a bath towel is not meant for your car. Bath towels are not soft, they're not plush, and they're not going to be super absorbent. Now, the towel I recommend for you guys is going to be the Woolly Mammoth. Now, the Woolly Mammoth is an extra large microfiber towel with a microfiber pile that can actually hold up to one gallon of water. It has silk banding edges that's not going to scratch the surface of your car. It's super soft, super plush, and you can use it around the whole entire surface of your car. Whether you have a SUV, a pickup truck, a small sedan, or a coupe, dry your whole entire truck or car with a microfiber towel such as the Woolly Mammoth. It's soft, plush, and super absorbent. And there you guys have it. Just check out the big before and after we achieved using these five products on this Mazda. It came in dirty, filthy, and neglected, and now is nothing but shiny and mirror finished. But anyways, guys, if you guys do want to pick up any of these products today, you guys already know where to find them, chemicalguys.com, or at your local detail garage, drive down there, let us help you find your passion for shine, and as always, we'll see you guys next time, right here at the Chemical Guys Detail Garage.